Hi there everybody, welcome back to our Pokemon White 2 series. In the last episode, we took on Clay in the Driftville Gym. We got the badge. It wasn't actually as hard because you didn't actually have that good of mons. I mean, we were a little bit underleveled, but... Unlike Roxy, who had um, Prince pretty decent, I, Clay wasn't that great. We also got N Zoroa, which you can't nickname. But we're going to keep it. I haven't done any leveling yet. We're definitely going to keep it because Zoroark's easily one of my favourite mons. Like, because it normally has the imposter ability. And we need to go, I think we need to go help out, we need to go help out our rival. Because our rival at the end of the last episode, after the Pokemon World, um, the PWT, um, ran off down here. I went and healed instead. Yeah, ran onto the Bruner or into his bow. And he gets the Team Plasma's frigate. Oh, it's all silent. Oh, Team Plasma. Oh, look, I'll blow up. Oh, there's a lot of people. Luckily, luckily we heal. We, yeah, we did. We, we definitely healed. An electric. So yeah, I think mean, we're. I think this is to do with rescuing uh, Hugh's sister's Perline. If, if I remember rightly. Because Team Plasma stole it, because that's just mean. Got past the first one. Then they had been on that trike, so. Go. Oh. Kabuto. Yeah, that's the first level. Like, that, that's easy. We'll just Aurora beam again, right? Should just. Fossilize it because it freezes it. But that's not very effective. Is it not bug? No, it's um, probably bug. But really, that one, that one sand attacks. Ooh. Oh, it's gonna keep enduring, you know. It didn't enjoy that time. See, it's, that's an annoying move because it means you can like survive on water. It's basically a focus slash move, but doesn't really help. Cause it do Oh, we have to we have to tell the chair not the not not the other person. Yeah, that's fight alongside the gym leader. Oh, our old rival from the original game. Donna has a flygon and Leo has a a ferrothorn. Ooh, he's a vile plume. Ferrothorn has intimidate. Well, we're gonna Ice Beam Flygon. Yeah. 
Flagon's Edge and Stun's Lord. What is Farrafall going to do? Yeah, but what's it mirror shotting? And then we'll attack the Farrafall. That should finish off the Flygon. Okay, then put in a Nidoran. I'm gonna focus on the Farrafall because Okay, we might need to switch. Oh no. No, we survived it. I... <laughs> uh, we're gonna heal. That is ironic. I think mean, that's gonna be the most ironic thing ever. Like this is randomized. This is not like oh, it's been they've been purposely put like that. They've actually actually managed to randomize neither and the neither and male or the neither and female as the second Pokemon. That is that is that is actually amazing. <laughs> okay, we don't need to heal again. Um, let's. Aurora Beam. Uh, is Vile Plume to heal a bit? And then we'll just Confusion for the win. Confusion for the win. Isn't that? That's that high. I'm here to help you out, bro. So we have a Buffalon and a Crygonal. He has a Sentry. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the Buffalo because the Buffalo's probably gonna do more damage. Okay, so we've got Ice and we've got a normal type. I think actually what a smart, a smart switch may be is into Rocky because to karate chop the uh, Buffalo. Sanju digs the Cryogonal. Cryogonal very weak then? That's a Swamp Up. Should be super effective. I'm gonna dig again. And a Krogan. We're gonna crouch up the Swampert to this part of ground. That couldn't have been the more perfectly aimed dig ever. But it did get mud bombed. You know what I mean? Like aiming the dig towards the poison type. That I don't think was even there at the start. We get a crit. We get the crit to take down the swamp part. Mile and Crystal don't stand a chance.
Oh. What's going on? Oh, it's a seventh age? Maybe we don't get to rescue the, um... He's gonna go to Route 6. Oh, that. Okay. What's he? What's in here? And we already claimed our encounter. And then that you can get from here to um, Castillo City. I think it's the same thing as in the uh, Castillo City sewers. It's not raining now. Okay, we'll claim our Route 6 encounter, and that'll be the last thing of the episode. Our encounter is very tempting. Very. I can't really attack though. The beer ball should be able to ca catch Trico, right? Two. That's really good. Because obviously Sceptile is pretty good. Um I'm gonna call it I'm gonna call it Gecko. I'm gonna call it Capital G though. Say so, yeah, that We'll do Route 6 and probably Chas on Cave next episode. I'm gonna heal and that will be where we end today's episode. So the Shadow Trade is still working uh, working for that sage. Interesting. So yeah, so obviously Route 6 follows on for Chas on Cave, I think, prison. But that will be, of course, where we end today's episode. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!